great political resource, so uh, fire away. Well, Patrick O'Flynn hasn't been attending um, the general election hustings in yeah, Cambridge, yeah. so I'd like to ask him uh, why he hasn't been attending. Mm. Do you not think it's valuable um, to see you up on stage, not just at a great public meeting like this, which would be fantastic if some of the other parties held, but next mm. to the debating with um, the, the candidates from the other parties, and not only are you not there, but UKIP is completely unrepresented at these events. Um, so perhaps now we've got um, Nick Clark. Um, will Nick Clark be um, attending those events which um, you can't attend? Well, I'll tell you what my position is on hustings. <coughs> is that my campaign is never, and I said this right at the outset, my campaign is not based around going to the sort of 30 or is it 40 this time, hustings that are held in Cambridge in the general election cycle. Because I remember to say something slightly controversial here, so I hope the camera's still uh, running, Richard. But I think it's the same, to some extent, it's the same 250 liberal middle class do good as moving from, to, from hall to hall. Right? You whereas, were scared of no, whereas, whereas my campaign is based on action days in target wards, talking to real working people in Cambridge. I think that going to 40 hustings would be a waste of my time because yeah, I yeah. think the common sense working people of Cambridge are not to be found at three not different yes. hustings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I think there's not a genuine cross-section of opinion. I think it would probably be rather like the audience Nigel Farage yes. Yes. I'm doing a few more hustings. I'm not going to go to dozens and you know, I'm not sure how many of the other candidates have benefited from their hustings addiction. As I say, my, my Conservative colleague has had a couple of moments, you know, the wristbands moments and the, uh, the observation about how the people of Abbey and Arbery keep their homes and gardens, which I'm not sure have necessarily powered her campaign ahead. So uh, I actually, uh, I, I keep an eye on Richard's splendid and comprehensive updates about the hustings, but I think uh, holding public meetings and inviting, you know, not just uh, UKIP supporters, but, but, you know, anyone who wants to come and contribute and take part uh, is more valuable, and holding action days in awards is more valuable, and I'm allowed to say how I conduct my campaign, and the people are allowed to decide at the end. But Patrick, what about the hustings you held at the Union? You had a yes. BBC Plus audience there. I had a... BBC Plus audience there. BBC Plus, well, uh, we took a, a straw poll on, on the... Uh, the question was asked, at the, one of the questions was, would you be in favour of leaving or staying in the EU? And I think it was more than 90% of that audience were in favour of staying in the EU. So I knew. You know, but I enjoyed that, that evening. I enjoyed that evening. And I need... Uh, I tend to do a, a hustings towards the end of the campaign at my old Cambridge College, King's College, which is by far the most left-wing college, so that would be an interesting uh, experience. But if I spent my whole campaign going around such hustings, I don't think I'd meet more than a couple of dozen people who would seriously consider voting for me. So I prefer to get out on the action days and meet a much wider cross-section of opinion. Uh, gentlemen, right at the